Hello, my Disc Levere friends. Hey, I've got to share something with you. So are you ready and prepared to hear the best music you have ever heard on your piano? I kid you not, we've got it. Here at Piano Stream, things are getting better and better every day, and we're working as hard as we can to blow you away. And I do this for a living. I work on disc claviers and piano disc and a little bit of QRS, but 28 years of disc clavier and piano disc, and you've never heard anything like this. I've never heard anything this good. So this is how it works. This app that you're looking at is called Piano Stream. It has two interfaces. One says piano disc, the other says disc clavier. Um, we're not gonna talk about the disc clavier interface right now. Basically, you just need a MIDI adapter, I mean a MIDI receiver, and then you'll hear all of these beautiful songs that we've done, okay? Um, but today I want to show you you this P disc interface. And so this was mainly developed for piano disc systems, but Disc Levere has a feature where it can receive wave files and decode them. And it is so nice. Once again, it's the best music and the highest quality music that I've ever heard on a disc clavier. And what's beautiful about it is that we have all the freedom in the world to produce whatever we want. And that's exactly what we're doing. And of course, we're fully licensed to do so. And this is our app, which we have developed, and we've been working on it for the last four years. So let me just quickly show you how this works. Um, if you have a disc clavier, first of all, you need to get a, a little device off of Amazon called AudioCast. And so let me just go to my pictures really fast. I took a picture of it. Let's see. Um, there it is right there. You'll want that exact device off of Amazon for 45 bucks. Okay. And you simply have it join your Wi-Fi. It does have a, an app that's associated with it. You download the app and then you connect to that thing. And then once again, you have it join your Wi-Fi. And then after that, you'll simply want to um, use a 1 8 inch to RCA cable like that. And then so that 1 8 inch plugs obviously into that part that says stereo. And then that part plugs underneath into your um, Omni in or analog RCA inputs under your piano. And if that doesn't make sense, I also took a picture of that. So if you have a Mark IV, it's going to say Omni in, and you'll just plug in to that left and right. If you have a Mark III, it's going to say that. And if you have a DKC850, um, it's also going to say that. And if you have an Inspire, it's going to say analog MIDI in. So plug into that. And actually, you know what? I lied to you. The Mark III also says analog MIDI in. But either analog MIDI in or Omni in is where you need to connect that audio cast device. Okay? So once that's done, go back to the app and touch the AirPlay icon, top right-hand corner, see that? And then you'll see that audio cast device. Then you'll connect to it, then you'll touch these little music notes right there, and then you're just gonna scroll down, 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 because all of that stuff is piano disc music, and it's solo piano. But go until you see piano plus audio only, then go down to disc clavier only, piano plus audio, use analog MIDI, okay? You can touch that, and you're gonna hear so much, I mean, tons of awesome, not tons, but we're working on this as hard as we can. And we have a whole bunch of music already. And so what's beautiful about this is that this volume control right here will control the volume of the audio, but you'll have to walk up to your piano to adjust the volume of the piano itself, okay? Now you can hear that, that fax signal. That fax signal actually contains MIDI data, which drives the keys on your piano, okay? And as you can see, we've, we've got quite a bit of music and we're adding to it almost daily. And so uh, after a while here, we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. And imagine this song cranking out on your piano with some really nice speakers or even tower speakers around or next to the piano. I mean, you're talking about the best sounding music ever on your disc clavier. And once again, this isn't the synthetic elevator stuff. This is the band that you're listening to along with your piano. So, um, oh, and wait till you hear that, you know, and oh, it's just so beautiful. 
Anyway, um, keep me posted and let me know if you have any questions. But once again, this is called Piano Stream. And if you haven't heard of Piano Stream, let's just go to the App Store just for the heck of it and bring it up. Touch the search button and just type in Piano Stream right there. And you're going to see that right there. We also call it Piano Keyboard MIDI Controller because it brings up, when people search for this kind of app, it brings up our app, which is called Piano Stream. And not to be jinxing us or anything, because we're very humble here, but um, notice that we do have, you know, over a hundred, almost a hundred five-star reviews. And just, it's because people are so happy with this. It's just really, really beautiful. And then just one last thing, um, if you would, and if you could, and if you would like to, please go to Facebook on your, on your phone. And if you would just type in Piano Stream, at Piano Stream Group, right there. We would love to have you there. We have 700, 705 members right now, but we want a couple thousand. And so please join. We add all kinds of beautiful stuff all the time. In fact, here's a taste of Piano Stream. Look at this. And I don't know if the audio is working or not, but oh man, just so, so beautiful. So anyway, tell me what you think. Okay, thanks. We'll see you.